spray paint guns we have. We've managed to amass quite a collection in the recent weeks. So this is the first sprayer we bought. It's the Home Right Finish Max Super. It costs 100 bucks on Amazon and we're gonna see if it's total trash or not. Second gun we're gonna try is this Fuji Spray Suction Feed Gun. And the gun itself costs 300 something dollars standalone on Amazon and you have to also buy this like special turbine system. The Mini Mic 4 is what we're using and it costs about $800 total together. And then the third gun we're gonna try is the Central Pneumatic HBLP gun which we're using with our neighbor Claude's air compressor. So altogether these are kind of three separate techniques we're trying here as well as two separate air caps. Finally, um, without going into spray guns, we'll try this zinc phosphate rattle can primer. Um, we'll see how it compares to the other three. Obviously, we're going to be doing this on spare parts, not on our like plain vinyl parts so the primers don't interfere, but we'll give it a try. Alright, stay tuned. Okay guys, so now we've got our epoxy mixed up. We're actually using this AXO two-part epoxy. Oh, heavy stuff. We mix it in these nice little cake cups, one part to one part, and now we're going to put in some of it into our Home Bright Super Finish Max. Do you want to do all of it or? No, let's do like, I don't know, a third of it? We're going to play this. Spray all up. Looks like looks like that was a bad thing. Thank you. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm gonna put this in and get to business. We have installed the smallest 1.5 uh, millimeter nozzle. I think it's 1.5. Yeah. 1.5. Okay. Yes. This time Peter didn't Look. break it somehow. He did not. Good job, Peter. All right. Alright. Okay, so now we're going to try spraying one of our test pieces that Peter's prepared, okay? You guys ready? Let's check this out. orange peel on the side. Somehow yeah. the video can not see very well, but there we'll uh, take a picture later. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, is that it or you want to spray, spray more? Mm, we could try. The issue with this guy is that it looks like it sprays okay in the beginning and then it just kind of trickles off. Hang on a sec. Uh, yeah. Let's take the skin that uh, uh, provides the shadow off so it's going to be better lighting. Okay. because we didn't put it on it. I mean, to be fair, the part where we didn't do the orange peel, it's like, it's okay. Yeah, but like, how would you know which part you don't get uh, the orange peel? Okay. Alright. Okay, uh, next gun. That's so weird, now it seems to be working okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so we see that there's 
the problem here, and it's pretty obvious even when you're spraying the cardboard, is that the pressure is super uneven. So Here's the turbine itself, see the hose goes out, the hose goes out, and here is the turbine. Alright, back to the... Here's the rope. Here's the rope. Seventy-five dollars in Harbor Freight. What? Seventy-five dollars in Harbor Freight plus the pressure regulator. With the pressure regulator. So let's check it out. All right. Not bad. Not bad. My bet is that we won't be able to tell by eye, like our unprofessional eye, the difference between Fuji and uh, Stenonomatic. Alright, so now we... Cool. I'm dry, yeah. So just for the record, the first three were with the finish wax. So one, two, and three, they're actually numbered. The, uh, four and five were sprayed with Fuji. No, no, and one and two were Fuji. We, we, we did two. Oh, yeah, two. Okay, sorry. One and two were Finish Max. Three and four, Fuji. Five and six, um, Ten Automatic. the color. I mean, it's not bad actually. Yeah. This one. Alright, wait. Too close? Oh, we can. Oh, my bad. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this one came out better. So you decided to make it worse by playing <laughs> expert? No. Alright. Alright. Cool. Cool. Cool.